students, welcome to Sri Chaitanya E classes. Myself Satish Kumar, faculty in mathematics in Sri Chaitanya Engineer College Jagitya, and also welcome to Mathematics A class. So we are dealing the topic is partial fractions, part six. Already five classes are completed. Okay. So in five classes we discussed uh, so many number of topics. And also completed the problems, first exercise, second exercise, and third exercise. So, in the previous classes, we are discussing about how to resolving a proper rational fraction to partial fractions. And in second concept is how to resolving improper rational fraction into partial fraction. So, based on these two topics, we have three exercises are there. The three exercises are completed. So some problems I explained in the class, some problems you are completed in your home. Okay. So now the last topic in partial fractions. What is the concept here? Conversion of a rational fraction into power series of x. Means conversion of f of x by g of x into power series of x. That means you cannot understand the, if concept is uh, when we are wrong, when we are right the concept is right like this. If I am writing like this, so find the coefficient of find the coefficient of x power n in a rational fraction. So one of the rational fraction three plus two x by x plus two is two x plus one. This is the question. What is the question? Find the coefficient of x power n in the rational fraction. This rational fraction that may be proper or improper, whatever it may be. 3 plus 2 x by x plus 2 into x plus 1. So by the observation, this is a proper rational fraction. So we have to extend this one in power series of things. For that one. So first of all, we have to Know the sum formulas. What are the formulas? Are so mod x is less than one. Mod x is less than one. Okay. So mod x is less than one. Then one by one minus x comma one by one minus x whole square comma one by one minus two x whole square. So like that. If we write like this, so these are known as power so expansion expansions are known as expansions expansions are known as known as known as power series of x known as a power series of x so first of all we have to know about the formulas 1 by 1 minus x 1 by 1 minus x. This is also can be written as 1 minus x whole power minus 1. So the formula of 1 minus x whole power minus 1 is can be written as 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus and so on x power k plus and so on. Okay. So 1 minus x whole power minus 1. By the observation, this is a this series in GB, sum of GB also we will find like this. Otherwise, the proofs of this formula we discuss in binomial theorem topic, binomial theorem chapter. So we will discuss about this. Topic. So if 1 by 1 minus 6 is equal to 1 minus 6 whole power minus 1. Now 1 by 1 plus 6 means 1 plus x whole power minus 1. 1 minus x whole power Minus 1, next one is 1 plus x whole power minus 1. That means we should write like this 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus and so on minus 1 whole power k into x power k and so on. This is a formula. Proof of this one we'll discuss in binomial theorem topic. But you have to remind you have to buy hard these formulas. Without these formulas, we cannot solve the problems in conversion of rational fraction. That means which topic, which way, which type of questions? So say this type of questions. When we are solving this type of questions, compulsory we have to know about this type of 
Next here, 1 by 1 minus x and 1 plus x. Next here, 1 by 1 minus x whole square. 1 by 1 minus x whole square. That means we will write here 1 minus x whole to the power of minus 2. 1 minus x whole to the power of. That means that will be top to the numerator. That will be top to the That means the formula is 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube plus and so on k plus 1 into x power k plus and so on. Okay. This is 1 by 1 minus x whole square. And also one more formula is there. That is 1 by 1 plus x whole square. That means we should write here 1 plus x whole power minus 2. This can be written. Here are plus. But when we are written as here instead of minus we are getting plus. We will write like this. 1 minus. What is the formula? 1 plus 2x here. Now we should get here. 1 minus 2x plus 3x square minus 4x cube plus and so on. Plus minus 1 whole power k. Minus 1 whole power k. Is minus 1 whole power k into k plus 1 into x power k and so on. If we know these four formulas, we will solve the problems very easily. Okay? So, this is the example problem in your textbook. Okay? So, the solution will be there in that one. But I will discuss about two formulas in last exercise. Right? Uh, come to the question, students. And page number. 276 in exercise 7c. So, what is the first question here? Find the coefficient of x cube in the power series expansion of 5x plus 6 by x plus 2 times of 1 minus x. Specifying the reason in which the expansion is valid. Which the expansion is valid. So, that means simply we should find the coefficient of x cube in this expansion. That means for our further one, first we should write. What is the question here? 5x plus 6 by x plus 2 times of 1 minus x. Now this is in rule 1, why because this is a proper rational fraction. So using rule 1, this will get here a by x plus 2 plus b by 1 minus x. Keep this as equation number 1. So just you write here 5x plus 6 by so, you will know the process. Already we did this type of problems in exercise 7a. It is 1 minus x is equal to a times of LCM is x plus 2 into 1 minus x. It is a times of 1 minus x plus b times of x plus 2. So, therefore here 5x plus 6 is equal to a times of 1 minus x plus b times of x plus 2. Keep this as equation number 2. Now, substitute x equals to minus 2 in equation number 2. Then equation number 2 will be changed as equation number 2 will be changed as 5 into minus 2 plus 6 is equals to a times of 1 minus x here. 1 minus x here. 1 minus x means 1 minus a we are substituting x equals to minus 2. 1 minus of minus 3 is 1 plus 2 plus b times of 0 that implies 5 into minus 2 minus 10 plus 6 is minus 4 is equal to 3a. Therefore, a is equal to minus 4 by 3. a is equal to how much? Minus 4 by 3. Next, uh, substitute x equal to 1 in equation number 2. Then equation number 2 will be changed as 5 into 1 plus 6 is equal to 5 into 1 plus 6 equals to a times of 0 plus b times of 1 plus 2 that implies 5 into 1 is 5 plus 6 is 11 is equal to 2 plus 1 is 3b that implies b is equal to 11 by 3 ok 11 by 3 now these two values substitute in equation number 1 so now 
a equals to what is we are getting a equals to minus 4 by 3 comma b equals to how much we are getting here 11 by 3 substitute in equation number 1 in equation number 1 now what is equation number 1 that is 5x plus 6 by this here x plus 2 times of 1 minus x is equal to a by x minus x plus 2 is minus 4 by 3 times of x plus 2 plus b by 1 minus x means 11 by 3 times of what is here 1 minus x ok now we have to expand 5x plus 6 by x plus 2 into 1 minus 6 equals to minus 4 by 3 times of x plus 2 plus 11 by 3 times of 1 minus so just you write here minus 4 by 3 times of just you 2 goes to common 2 comes common here we we'll get 1 plus x by 2 1 plus x by 2 plus 11 by 3 times of so here 1 minus x, just you write it as, as it is 1 minus x. Now 2 ones, 2 2 that is equal to minus 2 by 3 times of this comes to numerator 1 plus x by 2 holds the power of minus x plus 11 by 3 times of 1 minus x whole power minus. So what are the formulas here? 1 plus x whole power minus 1 formula. 1 plus x whole power minus 1 formula is 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed plus x power 4. So minus and so on. This is the formula 1 plus x whole power minus. Next what is the formula 1 minus x whole power minus 1 is 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus and so on. So just you write it. So minus 2 by 3 times. So 1 plus x by 2 whole power minus 1 means 1 minus x. Instead of x is how much here? x by 2. So that means 1 plus x by 2. Next plus 1 minus x here. Why? Because 1 plus x by 2 formula. That means you get here 1 minus x by 2 plus x square by 4 minus x cube by 8 plus and so on. Plus 11 by 3 times. So 1 minus x whole power minus 1 formula is 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube and so on. That means 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus and so on. So what is the question asking here? Coefficient of x cube. So coefficient of x cube. Coefficient of x cube in the first term minus 2 by 3 is multiplied to minus 2 by 3. That means minus 2 by 3 times of here x cube coefficient is minus 1 by h plus 11 by 3 times of here x cube coefficient is the simplify here 2 ones 2 fours 1 by 12 plus 11 by 3 this LCM is 12 here 1 plus 3 fours 12 44 so 45 by 2 45 by 12 means what is our simplification? 45 by 12 means 3 4 jar, 3 15 jar. So that means answer is 15 by 4. Answer is how much? 15 by 4. We will go to the next question. So next uh, in exercise 7c, we will go to the next question. That means next model. The previous question we are finding x cube coefficient. Now then page number 276 in exercise 7c for a question, very very important question. So this is the find the coefficient of x power n in the power series expansion of this is the expansion, this is the rational. Specify the region in which the expansion is valued. That means first you check out x minus 4 by x square minus 5x plus 6 is also proper rational And in denominator x square minus 5x plus 6 is there. First you write uh, minus 5x plus 6 is 23. How to write this one? 3 is x square minus 5x plus 6. Then we written as x square 
minus of 2 plus 3 times of x into plus 2 into 3. This can be written as x minus 2 into x minus 3. Okay? Now the total of given fraction may be changed as x minus 4 by x minus 2 into x minus 3. Okay? x square minus 5 x is nothing but x. Now, this is in, again in rule 1. We can write here a by x minus 2 plus b by x minus 3. Keep this as equation number 1. Now, solve the equation x minus 4 by x minus 2 times of x minus 3 is equal to x minus 2 times of x minus 3. We will get here a times of x minus 3 plus b times of x minus 2. Okay, therefore, we will get here x minus 4 is equal to denominators are same a times of x minus 3 plus b times of x minus 2. Keep this as equation number 2. Now, just you find the a and the b values, first uh, substitute x equals to 2 in equation number 2. Okay, so now that means equation number 2 will be changed as 2 minus 4 is equal to a times of 2 minus 3 plus b times of 0 that implies 2 minus 4 is minus 2 is equal to 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus a therefore that implies a equals to 2 a equals to how much 2 next uh, in a similar way substitute x equals to 3 in equation number 2 and equation number 2 will be changed as equation number 2 will be changed as what is here 2 uh, we are substituting x equals to 3 that means 3 minus 4 is equal to a times of 0 plus b times of 3 minus that means minus 1 is equal to b implies b is equal to 1 now, A equals to how much we are getting? 2. The B equals to, we are getting minus 1 here. Not only 1. B equals to minus 1. B equals to minus 1. Substitute in equation number 1. The equation 1 will be changed as, equation 1 will be changed as, x minus 4 by x minus 2 to x minus 3. That is equal to a by x minus 2. What is the value we are getting here? 2 by x minus 2 plus b. b equals how much we are getting? Minus 1 by x minus how much here? 3. I mean right here x minus 3. Now we have to expand this one. 2 by in this one in x minus 2 minus 2 goes to comma. We get 1 minus x by 2 minus 1 by here also minus 3 goes to comma 1 minus x by 3 will get here. So, 2, 2 cancel. So, next here minus 1 minus x by 2, this is in numerator. This, sorry, this is in denominator. We should write in denominator. So, exponent will become steady to minus 1. Minus 2 minus plus 1 by 3 times of 1 by 3 times of again this will be comes to numerator 1 minus x by 3 whole power minus 1. What is the form of 1 minus x whole power minus 1 formula? Already discussed about this formula. 1 minus x whole power minus 1 is 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus and so on. But I am given in formula k plus 1. But here I am writing n plus 1. n plus 1 into x power n plus and so on. We will get like this. Now apply this formula. Apply this formula in for these two expansion. That means minus of what we get here 1 minus x by 2 means 1 plus x by 2 plus x by 2 whole square plus x by 2 whole cube plus and so on. What is the next one? Last one is plus which one? n plus 1 into x power x by 2 whole power n. First one is completed. Next, next one, throughout the motion is plus means so I am writing here plus 1 by 3 times of 1 by 3 times of 
1 minus x by 3 whole power minus 1. Just write same as that. 1 plus x by 3 plus x by 3 whole square plus x by 3 whole cube plus and so on. n plus 1 times of x by 3 whole power n. x power n. What we are getting here? Minus of. Once again, I am writing here. So, for clear of explanation, minus of 1 minus x by 2 whole power minus 1 plus 1 by 3 times of 1 minus x by 3 whole power minus 1. What is the form of? Formula of 1 minus x whole power minus 1 is 1 plus x plus x square plus and so on x power n. This is the formula. Now, use this formula for these two terms. That is, minus of first one, 1 plus x means instead of x in number here, x by 2 plus x by 2 whole square plus x by 2 and so on. Last one is x by 2 whole power n. So, first term is completed. Next is for the second term plus 1 by 3 times of what does we get here? 1 minus x by 3 whole power minus 1 means 1 plus x by 3 plus x by 3 whole square plus and so on. What does the last one we get here? x by 3 whole power n. Okay. So now just simplify this one here minus of 1 plus x by 2 plus x square by 4 plus and so on x power n by 2 power n completed. Let's write the second term also. 1 by 3 times of this will get here 1 plus x by 3 plus x square by 9 plus and so on x power n by 3 power n 3 power n that is easy. Now we should find here for coefficient of coefficient of x power n from the previous problem we are finding x power 3 that is why we taken as x power 3 here the question is based on for coefficient finding coefficient of x power n that is why I am right up to like this so for coefficient of x power n is here coefficient of x power n is 1 by 2 power n into minus 1 that is minus 1 by 2 power n next term plus in this term coefficient of x power n is how much here 1 by 3 power n that means plus 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 power n. So, just means here, so here minus 1 by 2 power n plus 1 by 3 into 3 power n is 3 power n plus 1. So, that means this can be written as 3 power n plus 1 minus 1 by 2 power n. So, this question is very very important for 4 marks question. Now, this is, now homework problems are, homework problems are, in exercise 7c, in exercise 7c, I explain 1 and 3. So, for second and fourth problems. Second and fourth problems. Uh, homework, right? Thank you. Thank you very much. And also, partial fraction chapter is completed. In the next class, we will start the quadratic equations, quadratic expression chapter. Thank you. Thank you very much.